They are as much a part of Boston as the skyline that serves as their backdrop. In a city filled with tradition and history, community boating has reached its own milestone, celebrating its 75th anniversary this year. When you raise the sail, the boom would also go up. Our goal is to just get you on the water, and whatever we can do to do that, we're going for it. We're going to do it. And that has been the mission since the program's founding. Sedalia Benson is Community Relations Director for Community Boating. We have a four-year-old that's in our accessible sailing program. We have 10-year-olds in our junior program. And then we have 80, 90-year-olds still coming down sailing in our adult program. The diversity that we have is just amazing. And I feel like it truly reflects the diversity that we have in Boston. It is the legacy of Joe Lee, an affluent Bostonian who had a vision in the 1930s of making sailing more accessible to the working class immigrants from Boston's West End, who were within walking distance of the Charles River. And his mission was to just get the inner city West End kids out sailing. He didn't want this idea that you had to have family money, you had to be rich, you had to own a boat to just be involved in the sport of sailing. Of course, sailing, and even the concept of accessible, have evolved during 75 years, and so has the program. So in 2007, we started the Universal Access Program. So every season, we host hundreds of members, some that have a traumatic brain injury, some with a mess, um, some with that are quadriplegic, and we have a range of equipment that is specialized to be able to give them the experience just like any other member that we have. True to their mantra of sailing for all, accessible and affordable, with memberships ranging from just $1 to a maximum of $395. Whether it's an economic background or a boundary, a physical boundary, we don't want that to be a hump that you have to give, get over. You know, we're really here to help bridge that gap, whatever it may be, to get people on the water. And now, once you put your sail in, you start raising it. A philosophy that has enshrined community boating as the oldest and largest public sailing center in the country, and the inspiration for many other community sailing programs. And if you're still not convinced... Just come down, just come visit us, come talk to one of our dock staff members, come talk to just another member on the dock, and we'll sell you on it. An easy sell for a memorable sale. And you may have noticed EF on many of the sales. Education First is one of their larger sponsors, as is Polar Beverages. They've also received some funding from the city and the state. This year is very different from last summer when the docks were empty and the boats were idle during the pandemic. They are happy to be back with all their programming and events this year. And that is Chronicle for tonight. I hope you had some fun. Thanks for playing along with us. I'm Shana Seymour. We'll be seeing you back here tomorrow night for another.